Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Parkrun Day. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my uh, Parkrun vlogs, you will know that I normally start off by um, introducing the day and where we're going as I walk to the start of Parkrun. But I'm doing it a bit differently this morning because I've just jumped in the car uh, and I'm touristing, um, but I'm staying relatively local because I've got some uh, business this afternoon. That means I've got to be in town uh, relatively early. And actually, I was heading for my Nendi, nearest not done yet. But actually, I think it's just my should be my home park run. Because um, I don't know if you can see my sat nav. Pims is just 10 minutes away. Who knew that? Because it's in a different borough, it's in the London borough of Enfield and is in Edmonton and not Waltham Forest where I live. I never even thought about having a park run this close. Um, normally my local park run would be Walthamstow, which is on a run, go a long way round, probably two and a half miles, um, maybe three, uh, but it takes a bit longer to drive because of the, the way you have to get there. So actually, I might have a new home park run. Now, I'm not going to count that, obviously, because that will mess up my tourist streak. So Walthamstow is still my home park run. I'm still heading to Pims as a tourist, and uh, I'll see you there. So, welcome back, everyone. Made it to Pims. I'm not gonna, well, I am gonna say this out loud. I've actually sat in my car scrolling for longer than in my actual journey time. But uh, we'll just skip over that. Although you're probably thinking, why did he not run? If it's that close, the chance to get a park run tourist sandwich doesn't come along very often but uh, in my defense I was in central London um, running a 10k finished at quarter past nine last night obviously got back got up got out and then I've got another nine miles to do in central London uh, at four o'clock so saving my legs for the secret Santa run that we're doing uh, later on today with a few 40s so that's um, why I didn't do my parkrun tourist sandwich but there's a challenge there guys who's done a parkrun tourist sandwich uh, and if you've got no idea what i'm talking about a parkrun sandwich is where you run to parkrun do parkrun and then run back again so definitely doable but uh, uh probably not something you think about if you've driven two and a bit hours to get to parkrun so we are here at pims it's looking uh like a really nice victorian uh, urban park it's three laps so that's normally a great opportunity to do a little bit of progression run so uh, we'll see how that goes in a little while conditions are a lot better rain wise than they were last week and definitely a lot better underfoot than we had at Lincoln two weeks ago so it's all looking good from that point of view so see you soon Right, I'm going to show you a sign in a minute, it's slightly worrying. I know normally we are, uh, have our briefing about sharing the park with other users, but being, we've been warned, do not, and I repeat, do not touch the birds. So, I wonder how dangerous these beasts are, these birds of Pims Park. We shall find out in due course. Here they come again, mm -hmm. catch us if you can, mm -hmm. time to get a move on, mm -hmm. we were young with all of our might, catch us if you can, catch us if you can.
Right, that's it. That's Pim's done. That's my second P. So uh, we know we're getting into the difficult letters now for that second alphabet. K's and J's and H's, but that's why we love park run tourism. <sighs> Weather was good today. Makes a change. It was dry. It wasn't cold. It was kind of like perfect, really. <sighs> Unless you've done six miles, six and a bit miles at nearly 10 o'clock last night. Felt a little bit heavy in the legs, but we'll wait to see what the result comes through. I might have just nailed a progression run. I don't know if the middle lap will have uh, just been a little bit slower, maybe by a few, a few seconds than the first, but that doesn't matter. Uh, just trying to steadily improve week on week. And uh, if I've done that, that's good. Go back, if only I could have a little sports massage now before going out again for my nine miles in central London. But Medway ladies, I won't let you down, I promise. So we'll see you soon. So park run is done, and if the A406 is kind, I might actually be home. And I remember, I've been a tourist before I would normally get home if I was doing my home park run. So uh, uh, let's pray to the traffic gods and get a couple of green lights. And uh, yeah, I may be home uh, before 10 o'clock, which is kind of like messing with my brain, really. I'm a park run tourist. It normally takes hours to get there and I'm gonna have my parkrun coffee at home so how about that I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing missing out on the parkrun coffee but uh, uh, yeah, at least I can uh, sit on the sofa and uh, uh, look at everyone else's results as I strive a stalk so can't be all bad see you later guys